Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am excited to share with you a new to me brand. I decided to dive into Monarch Lacquer. If you were not familiar with what Monarch Lacquer is, if you've never heard of them before, Monarch Lacquer was created by Adrian from Fair Maiden Polish. Fair Maiden Polish is still offering items on their website in limited quantities. They will not be releasing new collections for Fair Maiden Polish because Adrian and Sarah, the makers of Fair Maiden Polish, have decided to go their separate ways and create their own polish line. So Adrian is the creator of Monarch Lacquer, which we're going to talk about today. And Sarah is the creator of Bow Revs Polish, which I do not currently have any Bow Revs polishes in my collection, but I will have a polish coming from Polish Pickup very, very soon. So definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on these new videos from this both of these brands. I am excited to dive into Monarch Lacquer and see what these are like. I have seen these polishes swatched and my jaw dropped when I saw these. I just knew that I had to pick them up. So I did go ahead and get several polishes to share with you. I did get a trio set, which is beautiful, fun spring summer polishes. There's a couple extra cream polishes in here. And then there are polishes from a recent release that I just had to get my hands on. So let's go ahead and get into it. I do want to quickly mention, everything will be listed down in the description box below. I do have an affiliate code for Monarch Lacquer. I am excited to say that I am an affiliate for Monarch Lacquer. I was so excited that they accepted me. So if you do purchase through my affiliate link, I do make commission off of those purchases, but that does allow me to bring more product to share with you guys on my channel. If you purchase through my link. Thank you so much for your support. I greatly appreciate it. Let's go ahead and dive into the goodies. I did do some black swatches on here as well because I want to see what a couple of these look like over black polish. I did go ahead and swatch some black polish to use for a couple of these to see how they look over top. But let's go ahead and just get started. Really quickly, they did send this cute little monarch sticker it is a holographic sticker so that was in my box with these polishes i have started to put my stickers up on one of my nail polish displays so that one will definitely have to get added so these first couple polishes here are ones from her most recent collection i don't recall what the name of that collection was i'll try to put it here in the video but we have some beautiful polishes to look at so we have this one here, which is Fluttering Beauty. This polish is described as being a vibrant red leaning pink polish. This also has shifting shimmer that shifts from gold to red to bronze. But I will say I am so glad that my husband talked me into getting these because look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. The sparkle in here. I do believe it has some holographic flakes in here as well. I'm not sure why I don't have descriptions like that. Maybe I missed those on the website. And I do apologize if my descriptions are not 100% accurate. So that's two coats of Fluttering Beauty. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it over black really quickly just to see what it looks like. Oh, that's pretty. It definitely brings out the color shifting shimmer. So that is one coat of Fluttering Beauty over a black polish. So you could really tell there's a big difference between the two. They're beautiful either way, though. Absolutely stunning. This next one is part of that same collection that Fluttering Beauty came from. This is called Jewel Wing. This is described as a mesmerizing deep plum nail polish that showcases an array of captivating hues. 
in person, I am seeing purple, blue, green, teal, gold color shifts in here. I'm hoping it's coming across on camera. I think it is. It looks like it is accurate in my viewfinder here. But this is gorgeous. So there are two coats of Jewel Wing, and I am going to go ahead and swatch it over black really, really quickly just so you guys can see what it looks like. It will pick up the color shifting shimmer, so you're going to get predominantly that gold to copper to green color shift on this, this particular swatch, but that's fun too. I like how that looks. So that is two co one coat of Jewel Wing over black, and then we have Jewel Wing in two coats on its own. I am going to go ahead and try to build Jewel Wing up in a third coat just to see if it deepens it up much more. I don't know if it will. It may not. It seems to actually make it a little bit more opaque in three coats. So there is Jewel Wing in three coats. The next one is the last polish from that collection. This is Luna Moon Dust. This is one that I thought was absolutely stunning, but I was trying to talk myself out of it. Obviously, I did not do a very good job. So this is a captivating periwinkle purple polish that captures the mystique of the night sky. It's bursting with micro aurora flake, shifting shimmer, and reflective glitter. swatch it over black. Now over black this will definitely show the shifting shimmer. You won't get the deep periwinkle base that you see on its own. You won't see that over black. But I still love to do this just to see what the polishes look like over black and it just adds something extra, changes up the polish just a little bit. So that is beautiful. So there is one coat of Luna Moon Dust over black. I'm going to go ahead and build up Luna Moon Dust on its own to a second coat here just to see what it'll look like. This is an absolutely beautiful polish, not one that I could initially see myself getting. I, like I said, I was trying to talk myself out of it, but my husband's like, well, you know, just get it. So I did. This is stunning, you guys. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? absolutely breathtaking. That is two coats of Luna Moon Dust. And then this is one coat over black. So now we're getting into the creams. I did not need more cream polishes, but I was just so interested to try them out after I saw Trish from the Polished Mage swatch these. I knew I had to just get them. So the first three polishes here are ones that I got in a trio set. She had a deal going on where you get the trio for a discounted price. The first one from the trio is this beautiful bright pink. This one is called Raspberry Bliss and it is a bright pink cream. Trish was swatching these and they looked to be almost one coat polishes. I was shocked. I had no idea that they were going to be that gorgeous. They just, I just knew I had to get them. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, you can see what I mean. They are almost one coaters. They might be one coat for you. I am swatching on a clear nail wheel. That does kind of change consistency just a little bit or opacity just a little bit. So there it is in one quick coat. Wow, that is very close to being a one coater. I'm gonna leave it at one coat, I think. I don't think it necessarily needs built up. That is, wow, that is beautiful. So the next one in this trio is a really pretty pastel yellow. This is called Citrus Fizz, and it is a delightful pale yellow cream. I don't have many yellows like this in my current collection. I can't even think of any off the top of my head. I have some that are similar, but I feel like they're still a little bit deeper in tone than what this one is. So I am so excited to add this one to my collection. So let's see 
if this is a one coater. I know yellows can be a little bit tricky to formulate, but that's actually decent. This is definitely not going to be a one coat yellow. I will definitely build this one up in two. You can tell it's a little bit more sheer on that first coat. But the formula itself levels beautifully. I have no complaints with this so far at all. These are beautiful polishes. Adrienne definitely outdid herself when she started this brand because they're beautiful. So the next one in this trio is this one called Sunkissed Coral, and it is just a beautiful, bright coral cream. This is pretty. It's a really nice formula on this one as well. A little bit more sheer than that first polish we did. So I will let this one dry and we'll add a second coat. I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat of the yellow polish really quickly. So there is two coats of Citrus Fizz. I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat of that coral polish. Now we're going to move on to just some extras that I got. I had to pick up this gorgeous red. This is called Ruby Woo, and it is just a beautiful red cream. I don't have many red cream polishes in my collection. I have a few, but this again was one that I just knew I had to get. The swatches looked beautiful, and I was just sold. So let's see what's... Oh, wow. You could kind of see there, it definitely has a nice opaque formula. A little bit sheer on that first coat. Not bad at all. That's beautiful, though. I love a good red manicure, and this is definitely going to be one that I'm going to be excited to have in my collection. I'm going to build this one up in a second coat because it is a little bit squishy-esque in that first coat. It builds up beautifully. I do float my polishes on when I do my swatches specifically. I float on that second and third coat just to build up the opacity a little bit better without causing anything to be streaky or anything like that. So that is two coats of Ruby Roo. The next polish is a basic black cream. I did not need another black, but I love a good black polish and I really wanted to try this one, so I just picked it up. So this one is called Nocturnal Noir. Oh wow. That is a really nice formulated black. That is an almost one coat polish. You guys could probably tell that. My goodness, okay. I didn't expect that. That's, wow, that was shocking. That's one coat, and I don't see any sheerness to this at all. I'm going to leave it at one coat. That had me floored. I was not prepared for that. So that is one coat of Nocturnal Noir. The next polish is a mint green. This is called Mint Mojito. Again, I have polishes like this in my collection, but I just had to try these. Trish sold me when she did her swatches. And I just had to do it. I have no other explanation to this. I just had to. I put it off for a while and I just kept going back to the website and I'm like, I really want to try this brand. And I just couldn't hold off temptation any longer. This is gorgeous. The formula on these, I am just astounded. I knew they were good. Seeing them in person versus online, wow. So that is one coat of Mint Mojito. They're so opaque. I cannot get over that. They're just so opaque. It's astonishing. So I did pick up a white from this brand as well. This is the white cream. This is called Winter Lily. It is just a basic white. I don't have many whites in my collection. I knew this brand was one I wanted to try a white from. I am picky when it comes to white polishes and I just thought why not add one more just to see if this one is going to become one of my favorites. I do enjoy one from KB Shimmer, but I do have some issues with that one at the same time when I apply it, so I'm just trying to find a good white polish. This one applies beautifully. Again, I do kind of float the polish on when I apply it, so there it is in one easy coat. 
minimal streaks. There's a little bit of streakiness up at the base of my swatch, so I will build it up in two coats. But wow, that's, yeah, <laughs> that's beautiful too. And the final one that I have, I'm going to let that white dry before I add a second coat. The final one I have is this one called Wink of Perry, and it is just a beautiful periwinkle cream. I'm a sucker for cream polishes in this color. I just had to. This Again, I just was like, all right, let's just see what else I can get myself into on the website, and that's kind of what happened. Oh, wow. I don't know why I'm shocked <laughs> with each one that I swatch. These are, look at that. That is one coat. And again, that is a solid one coat polish. Wow. I'm definitely going to be reaching for these. This is astonishing. They are beautiful. Adrienne outdid herself. These are stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat really quickly of the white polish. I am going to float it on just to minimize streaks. And I have a fuzzy. So that is White Lily in two coats. Formula was amazing on this one as well. Really beautiful. So this is what each of those cream polishes look like. Most of these were solid one coaters with the exception of the yellow and the red. Those were two coaters and I think I did, maybe I only did one coat of the coral. I've forgotten already. I did pick up one other item, and this one is, looks like a white polish, but this is actually called a color boost polish. This is what you put down to allow polishes to pop without having to build them up on their own. White cream, so it won't be a fully opaque polish, but it's definitely more opaque than I thought it was going to be. So this is solely just to give yourself a base coat. So I did want to go ahead and apply one of the polishes over the color boost so you guys can see what it looks like. So I am going to go ahead and go in with the Fluttering Beauty over the color boost just to show you what it looks like with that base underneath. This again is going to allow the polish to build up in opacity and be more vibrant than it would be on its own. So that is one coat of Fluttering Beauty with the Color Boost. And then this is one coat of Fluttering Beauty by itself. So you could definitely tell there is a decent difference here. This allows it to be a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more opaque. So here is two coats of Fluttering Beauty over the base coat. And then this is Fluttering Beauty on its own. You can definitely tell there is a decent difference in color, a decent difference in opacity with the Color, Blue, color Boost base coat. All right, everybody, that is it for today's video. Let me know if you have a favorite from today's haul. If you were going to be picking any of these up, my link will be listed down in the description box. You do not have to use that if you do not want to. You are more than welcome to just make purchases through the website without my link. That is perfectly fine. But if you do use my link, again, I do make a little bit of a commission off of purchases used through my link. But that does allow me to bring back funds for new purchases and new products to share with you guys on my channel. So if you do that, I greatly appreciate it. And thank you so much for your support. Let me know down in the comments which one of these is your favorite. I can't pick a favorite, I'll say that. I just cannot pick a favorite. They are all so beautiful and just stunning polishes. I The creams, out of this world. The shimmery polishes, the shifty polishes, again, more beautiful in person than I initially thought they were going to be. I am absolutely shocked. I will definitely purchase from Monarch again. They're beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and we'll see you in the next one.